like to play this one. Entertain. What do you think? Okay. Martin? Are we going to Martin? We're going to go into time. Yep, Martin's yes, doing yes, the time. Yes, okay. Okay, Martin. Who would you like to play from the Eggheads? Who are you going to play? Who are you going to play? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, CJ probably. The same here. Yes. Yeah. CJ. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Martin will play against CJ. Okay. Let's have you both into the question room then, please. Right, Martin. We always let the challengers choose. Do you want to start or let CJ begin? I think I'll let CJ go first. OK, first set of questions for you, CJ. Walking on Broken Glass and No More I Love Yous were UK top ten hit singles during the 1990s for which singer? Annie Lennox, Dido or Cher? They were both by Annie Lennox. They most certainly were. It's the right answer, CJ. OK, Martin. Which American soap opera, which ran in the USA from 1964 to 1969, made stars of both Ryan O'Neill and Mia Farrow? Days of Our Lives, Dallas, or Peyton Place. Which American soap opera, which ran in the USA from 1964 to 1969, made stars of both Ryan O'Neill and Mia Farrow? I know it's not Dallas, because that would have been in the 80s, I think. To be honest, I've never heard of Peyton Place, and I have heard of Days of Our Lives. I'll take a guess at Days of Our Lives. OK, uh, Brian O'Neill and uh, Mia Farrow were in Peyton Place, the one you hadn't heard of there, Martin. OK, chance for CJ to go in a 2-0 lead. CJ, which comedian co-wrote and stars in the TV sitcom Not Going Out? Lee Mack, Steve Coogan or Dylan Moran? Which comedian co-wrote and stars in the TV sitcom Not Going Out? I haven't seen you because I don't really get this guy, but um, it's Lee Mack. The Mac. It is. That's the right answer, CJ. So, Martin, got to get this one. Martin, in which 1942 film did the Irving Berlin song White Christmas make its first public appearance? Easter Parade, Flying Down to Rio, or Holiday Inn? I think that's Holiday Inn. Yes, indeed. Well done. Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. Off the mark. Got to hope CJ doesn't get this. OK, CJ, which actress was born Lucille Fay Le Sœur in 1908? Betty Davis, Joan Crawford or Claudette Colbert? I think... Oh, dear, let me get this the right way around. I think it's Joan Crawford. It is the right answer, CJ, which means Martin. You're not going to be playing in the final round. You're not going to look at another question even, I'm afraid. Would you both please come back and join your teams? So, Martin out of the final round. The Egghead's all still there, of course, at this point. Our next head-to-head -head is history. You'd like to play this? Right. Martin. Who's the... <laughs> <laughs> Martin. <laughs> Let me put a disguise on, Martin. I'll do it. I'll take it. OK. So, Lily, yeah. Yes? You sure about that? Yeah. Right, okay. well. Colin's going to do his right, Colin, yeah. who, would you, who would you like to play? Chris. Can't be CJ. We'll make it heavyweight contest, me and Chris. <laughs> okay, heavyweight <laughs> contest. Right. Let's see if you're both Bald in the question room. the world, room, you know it. <laughs> Eggheads, please, Eggheads. Uh, let's have you both in the question room, then, please. Well, Colin, I hope you're feeling on top form, because Chris certainly is in this category. He's played 27 times during the course of Eggheads and lost just twice. Mm. Um, this might have a bearing on the outcome. Would you like to go first or second, Colin? Oh, I'll go first, uh, please, then. OK, switching back to going first from the challenges. Colin, this is your question, then. In which country did the 1690 Battle of the Boyne take place? Ireland, Scotland or France? In which country did the 1690 Battle of the Boyne take place? Well, I'm going to eliminate France, because it doesn't sound very French. Uh, I don't think it was Scotland, so I'm going to go for Ireland. Battle of the Boyne? Yep, Ireland is the right answer. Go on, cheer louder than that. <laughs> <laughs> they will when you win, Colin. Oh, oh. OK, Chris. In 37 BC, Herod the Great was appointed king of which ancient region? Hibernia, Mauritania or Judea? Oh, uh, yeah. Of course, he came up against the Judean People's Front, the People's Front of Judea, didn't he? He was the king of Judea <laughs> at the time of the birth of Christ. This is your life of Brian fixation again. Mm, yeah. <laughs> He's over there. 
<laughs> of course, all Chris's historical knowledge of that period comes from Monty Python. Judea is the right answer. OK, Colin, back to you. Whose death warrant was signed by Elizabeth I on the 1st of February, 1587? The Earl of Leicester, Mary, Queen of Scots, or Lord Burley? Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't around in those days, but I'm not far off, but... <sighs> I don't really know this. Mary, Queen of Scots. I'm going to go for Mary, Queen of Scots. I know she was executed. OK, yeah, it's the right answer. Well, well done, Colin. Well done. Yes. I think Come on, louder. I think your teammates well knew that. Uh, <laughs> cheering before I confirmed it for you. Yep, right answer. OK, Chris, which Parisian railway station was named after a famous 1805 battle in which Napoleon beat both the Austrians and the Russians? Montparnasse, Austerlitz or Saint-Lazare? Well, Saint-Lazare is St. Lazarus. Montparnasse is the name of a suburb of Paris. So the battle was Austerlitz. Austerlitz. And have you been to the station? Gard Austerlitz, no. <laughs> no. Ah. It is the right answer, yes. OK. Both going strongly. Colin, this is your question. Colin, the ministers of Charles II, known collectively as the Cabal, were Clifford, Ashley Cooper, Buckingham, Arlington and who? Lauderdale, Lowell or Lansbury? The ministers of Charles II, known collectively as the Cabal, were Clifford, Ashley Cooper, Buckingham, Arlington, and who? Well, they all begin with L, so I've got a good start there. So something beginning with L. Uh, I've never heard of any of them, to be honest. So it's going to be a complete one in the dark. I'm going to go for Lansbury. OK, Lansbury. Clifford, Ashley Cooper, Buckingham, Arlington, and Lauderdale. I'm oh. Sorry, Colin, it's not right. Lauderdale. <laughs> the other member of the cabal. So, a chance for Chris to go through. Chris, which town in England was known to the Romans as Camu Lodunum? Is it Sirencester, Colchester or Chesterfield? Which town in England was known to the Romans as Camu Lodunum? Well, it's reputedly the oldest town in, in England. I see no country, it's Colchester. The Roman name for Colchester. It's the right answer, Chris. We're through to the final round. Colin, you won't be playing for the money today. Would you both please come back and join your teams? Well, the first two rounds gone against O'Flaherty's youth team. Two brains, therefore, will be missing from the final round. The eggheads are all still there. Our next subject is sport. Who'd like to play this sport? Ali, Maria, uh, Peter? Uh, I think we... Peter? Okay. And, yeah. Take on Judith, I think. Right, so, Peter taking That's on Judith. Favourite subject. <laughs> You've made Judith very <laughs> happy, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> oh. No, she is getting better at it, though. That's the trouble. You're right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. She's uh, put together some winning streaks <laughs> right, in this. Right, yeah. OK, let's see how you do in the question room, both of you, please. Right, Peter. What do you want to do, first or second for you? I'll go first, please, Dammit. Good luck. Here's your question. Whom did Roger Federer defeat in the final of the 2007 US Open? Rafael Nadal, Nikolai Davidenko or Novak Djokovic? Who did Roger Federer defeat in the final of the 2007 US Open? Tennis is my least favourite of subjects, however. Um, I don't recognise uh, Davidenko as being there. Um, nor uh, Djokovic. I'm going to go for Rafael Nadal. Yeah, quite often his regular sparring partner, but it was Djokovic uh, in the US Open. Djokovic, not Rafael Nadal. OK, well, Judith, um, you didn't get that question. I'm sure you would have liked it. Tennis is one wish, of the stronger elements, isn't it, in sport? Wish I had. Mm. Well, <laughs> Peter didn't get it correct, so still a chance for the lead with this one for you. A senior professional boxer weighing no more than 126 pounds would be classed in which division? Featherweight, welterweight or middleweight? Well, it's very, very light, that, isn't it? Um, it's not even nine stones. Is it? It's not even nine stones. Eight stones something. They're just tiny. Um, I think it must be featherweight. Yep, it's the right answer. Well done, Judith. Featherweight. <laughs> It's correct. Well worked out. OK, well, Peter, let's see if we can get you off the mark with this one. Who lit the flame inside the stadium at the 2000 Olympic Games? Ian Thorpe, Cathy Freeman or Dawn Fraser? 
was obviously one of those Australians. I think it was Kathy Freeman. Kathy Freeman, you think? Now you know, it's the right answer. Yes, Kathy oh Freeman oh is correct. Uh, she went on to win gold, didn't she, in the Olympics? 400 metres. OK, but Judith can stay in the lead if she gets this. In which winter sport would slap skates or clap skates be worn? Ice hockey, speed skating or figure skating? In which winter sport would slap skates or clap skates be worn? Well, I don't think it's figure skating. I think it might be speed skating. That's my answer. It is the right answer, yes. Speed skating is correct. Right, well, you've got to get this one then, Peter. The record win in an FA Cup tie was set in 1887 when Preston North End defeated Hyde United by what scoreline? 13-0, 26-13 or 26-0? Well, 26-13 sounds the sort of result we'd have on a Saturday, so I think it's unlikely that it happened in pro football. 26-0 um, just sounds incredible for anything of that sort. I'm not sure I would have seen that, so I'm going to go for 13-0. OK, 13-0. Preston, 13. Hyde United, nil was not the score, it was 26-0, <laughs> the big one, 26-0 they beat Hyde United by back in 1887. And uh, Judith has beaten you 2-1 in this particular head-to-head. -head. Would you both please come back and join your teams?